I've seen people like just saying funny stuff like, um, you know, people thinking that it's a rap for the boy, you feel me? And, you know, I'm, I'm actually just one of those guys, uh, having been here for all these years, I'm just one of those people that you'd be short-sighted to, to write me off, you understand me? And every wave that has hit the game, I've always been on top of it. And right now, and I've also been a leader, you know, in terms of like the culture and everything. So I want to do the same. I want to continue just like on that path. That is what I'm here for. I've In this video, we'll be discussing the longevity and consistency of Mr. Cash Time himself, KO. Let's take a look at his social media profiles to see what he's all about. On YouTube, he is Mr. Cash Time and has 116,000 subscribers. On Instagram, he's Mr. Cash Time, he's verified and has 913,000 followers and 49 posts. And on Twitter, he's at Mr. Cash Time and has 1.9 million followers. And if you're looking for Facebook, if anybody uses Facebook for anything other than business. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go to the very yeah. beginning of your career. I mean, you, you basically were one, of, well, a member of essentially yeah, the Destiny's Child of South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and you wow. were basically the Beyonce of the group. Tear Gas. K.O. started his music career in the mid-2000s as a member of the legendary music group Tear Gas. This was 17 years ago. Many considered him the Beyonce of the group. Tear Gas released its debut album Kshubilek Bo in 2006. This album cemented Tear Gas as a household name in South Africa with the classic South African song, Chance. Tear Gas then followed that up with the album Wafa Wafa in 2008. The group kept up the momentum by releasing which many consider a classic South African album, Dark or Blue, in 2009. The last album Tear Gas released was Number Number, which was released in 2012. Tear Gas is a legendary music group in South Africa and a highly decorated group. From 2006 to 2011, Tear Gas received over 18 award nominations and won 8 awards before splitting up. In 2006, Tear Gas won Best Album for Kshubilek Bov, Best Hip Hop Song and Best Song of the Year at the Metro FM Music Awards. Tear Gas won Best Group at the Metro Music Awards in 2008. Best Video Southern Africa for Take You Out at the Channel O Music Video Awards in 2009. Best Rap at the South African Music Awards in 2009. Most Gifted Video for Party 101 at the Channel O Music Award 2010. KO with Tear Gas is already a highly decorated musician but Tear Gas would disband following their final release, Number Number, in 2012. And this is where KO's solo career began. I'm trying to put, is it 17 years? Yes, sir. Matter of fact, it just became 17. So how do you rate the greatest of all time? I think someone who stood the test, test of time and who is just consistently making a mark even when the time comes to um, overhaul, you know, the entire system, rebrand, um, and just reposition themselves and, you know, still succeed at it um, over and over. I mean, we've seen that with gang people, uh, people that we consider goats. I mean, one of the ones obviously is like a Jay, a Jay Z. You know, all these years, I mean, what is he now, like, turning over? He's over 50, but, I mean, he even where he's at, like, right now, that man can still give you, like, rest of the year type thing, you know, crush the young dudes yeah. and stuff like that. So I think that's the person to me, you know, a lot of times I reference myself to. And just not giving up and, um, you know, staying fresh. 
doing what I need to do, man. And also, of course, um, gotta be the bars, gotta be the body of work, at least two classics. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I can comfortably say at least I have two classics under my belt. Yeah. Uh, if we're talking Essex Kind of Republic One, and if we're talking maybe Dark or Blue, obviously, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and. Hopefully SR3 can be another classic, so you know what I mean? So I'll have one up on some of my some of the people that I look up to. So. Yeah, yeah. Solo Korea. KO started his solo career by joining forces with my E to create the record label Cash Time Life. KO became the first artist signed to this record label. He released his first single, Mission Statement, which was received well by the public. In 2014, would turn out to be a very successful year for KO as he would be featured in AKA's mega hit song Run Jawsy and he produced one of the most iconic catchy verses we've ever heard from a South African rapper that is still talked about even today. He even did push-ups on a quantum at Breed Taxi Rank which many believe is an iconic moment. He's the only man yeah. in South Africa that was allowed to do push-ups on top of a taxi. Not anywhere. In Brie. In Brie. <laughs> the push-ups on top of a taxi. In Brie. So today, no one can come. That's, that's legendary status right there. KO, in March 2014, released a second official single from his first album, Karakar, which is regarded as one, if not the biggest, hip-hop song in South African history. The song got so big, it was the first South African song that broke the 1 million views mark on YouTube. And it also at the time broke the record for the most viewed South African hip hop music video on YouTube. Kara Kara made such a huge impact that the youth of South Africa changed the way that they dressed in the streets by wearing bucket hats, long socks and shorts. And at the time, you would see cash time merchandise everywhere being worn by kids and hip hop enthusiasts. In November 2014, KO released his first album as a solo artist, Skanda Republic, which received critical acclaim and is widely regarded as a classic album from KO. Skanda Republic was a culture shift in the game as it brought in the new age Guaido wave. KO made history by winning Record of the Year at the South African Music Awards with the song Kara Kara, which was the first hip hop song at the Samas to do so. He also won Best Collaboration for Kara Kara and Best Rap Album for Skanda Republic at the Samas in 2015. KO is a highly decorated artist and his impact on South African music is so big, many believe KO may be the greatest hip-hop artist to come out of South Africa. And he constantly makes many people's top 5 for the greatest of all time in South Africa. KO has a large list of hit songs which have gone gold or platinum over the years, such as Kara Kara, Skanda Love, Son of a Gun, One Time, Super Dupa, and his most recent hit song, Said Dip. To finish off his discography, KO followed up Skanda Republic with Skanda Republic 2 in 2017. He released PTY Unlimited in 2019. And lastly, he most recently released Skanda Republic 3 in September 2022. KO has released eight studio albums in the last 17 years, as both being part of a group as well as a solo artist. Producing hit records, high quality albums, and staying relevant for 17 years is a testament to how good KO really is as an artist. Being able to do well in a group, as well as a solo artist, bringing in new talent into hip hop over the years, producing multiple classic albums and songs, and having a big enough impact at the height of his solo career to shift the culture are all feats very few artists can claim to have, not just in South Africa, but all over the world. It's no wonder KO is highly regarded as one of the best hip hop artists South Africa has ever seen, or why he easily makes a lot of people's top five in the GOAT debate. One thing is certain is that KO is a living legend in South Africa.